This is a great feature because it acts as a digital backpack where you can keep all of your files. So here I am on the home screen for James, who's a fictional student. So at the top left, I have the home button, the progress button where I can get my grades, and then I have the backpack button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. This brings me to my backpack. So on the main part of the screen is where I will find all my files. On the left side of my screen are some different options and ways of organizing that information. So right now I'm in my main backpack, and I have one file here. If I want to add to my backpack, I can click on Add to Backpack. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to find a file on my computer. I'm going to upload something. It's a math assignment. Here it is. So I'm going to click on Add. And that will upload that. And there it is, my math assignment. Now, a way that you can organize items in your backpack is by using folders. So if I click on the left here at Folders, I can see what folders I have. I have a Favorites, a Literacy, and a Math folder. So let's go back to my main backpack in Backpack Items. I want to put this math assignment in my math folder just to help me keep things organized. So I'm going to click on the top left there, and it's checked off. And then that gives me some new options up here. I can delete. I can download it onto my computer. I can add to other folders, which I'm going to do or I can select all the files. I only want the one. So I'm going to add to other folders. This will show me other folders that I have. So I want to put it in my math folder. Click math and I'll apply. So now when I go to folders and I click on math, there's my math assignment. It helps me keep things organized. If I click on the turned in on the left side, this will show me all the assignments that I've handed in to the teacher electronically. So I have a record of all of them. The last thing I want to show you is Google Drive. Google Drive is great because if students have accounts, they can use things like Google Docs, which allows them to edit files online. So I'm going to go ahead and connect a Google Doc account that I currently have. And we encourage all of our students, and we help them, uh, create Google Doc accounts with their parents' permission. So let's connect with Google Docs. So I'm going to click on this big blue button. That's going to take me to a Google login, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to put the student information in. And this login information is probably different from your Edmodo login. Uh, just try to remember what your Google login information is. So I'll click Sign In. So this is the authorization screen. I want to authorize the app. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Accept. This gives Edmodo permission to use my Google Docs. So it's still loading. It's taking me back to the backpack. And here we go. Google Drive. So these are all the files in my Google Drive. Now if I click on them, I can actually see them in Google Docs. This is a, a document that I was working on, and the teacher posted some comments. I'm just going to close that. So that's how to integrate Google Drive into your backpack. I really hope that everybody gets using their backpacks because it's a great feature, and uh, it's nice to move away slowly from paper. So good luck using that. Bye-bye.